How's it going? It's your boy Jeep and Bubba, and welcome to the Jeep and Bubba YouTube channel. So uh, a few months back on the channel, I actually did a uh, quick review of five items that I have laid out before me. This uh, Boker pocket knife here, this Gerber cutting board that includes two knives, a spork set, a tactical spork from K-Bar, this Stanley base camp uh, cooking set, and this Snow and Neely uh, camp axe. All right, so if you watched the first video, you got all the basic info on this. Now I'm just kind of coming back and doing a review on how they actually all performed. I've gone camping a couple times and I had some of this gear in my Jeep and as part of my um, normal everyday routine. Um, and some items like this Boker knife I've actually carried on me since that first video. So that gives you an idea. Something I'm gonna do real quick, just kind of set the mood is I've got the five items in front of me and on this side I'm gonna put my favorite item and then I'm gonna put it to the least favorite. Not saying it's bad but I'm just gonna kind of rank it. So I'm actually gonna leave the Boca where it's at. That's my favorite item of all of it. Um, then I'm probably gonna have to do the Snow and Neely Camp Axe although I really liked the Tactical Spork. I'm gonna put it next base camp last it was a tough one this Gerber was great and so was the K bar so I'm gonna put them kind of it's, it's in an honorable mention but uh, I would say the Snow and Neely uh, camp axe and then the Boker knife uh, would definitely be my favorite so I'm just gonna run through them uh, worst to best and I'll tell you why okay so um, the Stanley base camp cooking set all right uh, a couple of things surprised me if you look at it online um, and when I got it in person I thought it was gonna be bigger so I think it's a weird size I think it's the perfect size for two people and those two people cannot be um, very hungry <laughs> like a, a, uh, two people one guy one person may eat a lot that eats a little or they both eat medium but you can't have two hungries like uh, me and Corey from JCR that's a no-no this pot wouldn't even hold one's worth of chili for us but I don't think it's enough for four well I know it's not enough for four people because we actually on one of the trips cooked for a couple people and it was just too small I think it's a little too big for one person um, and the reason I say that is uh, when I go by myself camping or if I were to go out by myself I want a smaller pack, I want less stuff. Uh, that's the advantage of being by yourself. But I guess, you know, to each his own. But this is kind of overkill, I think, for one person. Uh, I think it's good for me and my wife. Now, uh, with that being said, this is made by Stanley and it's very high quality. The quality on this was one thing that stood out. Everything was great as far as um, the structure of it, um, this elastic retainer. There was nothing that broke. Everything seemed really quality, so I like that, and I've come to expect that as Stanley. They've really kind of stepped the bar up recently on some of their camping items, and I really like their selection of camping items. There's, um, below the base camps, um, it's a slightly smaller size. That's what I kind of wish I would have bought, um, and then that would could fit in with what I already had for camping and cooking for me and my wife or with other people. Um, I would say a huge advantage of this, I was hoping that it would replace the frying pan that I bring with me when I go cooking or camping and cooking inevitably. And then, um, and also the pot. This would definitely replace the pot that I take out there. And it's only slightly larger than, than the, um, you know, pot that I take out to cook in. So I will probably chunk that pot and put this in, but it doesn't help me eliminate and put less items in my kit. What I'm talking about is I have like, um, a little tote. I did a video on what I take overlanding and that tote, this is not going to go in there. I'm just going to have to wedge it in there. I was hoping to save some space and bring that pan out. Now I always bring my cast iron because that's what I use on my big cooker and then I bring a non-skid or a non, uh, non-stick uh, skid. <laughs> An anti-skid frying pan that's also non-stick um, that I bought from Walmart. It's super cheap. I don't just throw it in there. I don't care about it. I was hoping to replace that wasn't impressed with this frying pan. Lid was super good. 
Not sure it's bulletproof, but what I really liked about it that I figured out is there's a map on the top of it. And um, if you're not like my wife who immediately figures these things out, like uh, origami, not me. I had to look at the map and I figured it out. But it's good. So, this is the frying pan, said frying pan. Um, again, quality is pretty good. Wasn't worried about this handle. Real nice thickness on this. You can kind of see, just from looking at this, this is after we've cleaned it multiple times. It's definitely not non-stick. I use olive oil when I cook, and it just wasn't enough. Uh, we just tried to cook some eggs in this, and I wasn't really impressed with it. I think it would do great, um, again, for like one person, two people. The couple times we went out, um, the we had multiple people, so I was trying to cook a bunch, and for the people we had, I had to fill this up three times with eggs to make it work. The uh, bowls and plates, they're great to have. The plates are a little on the small side, so if you're eating steak, you almost need to chop it, cut it up first. And then the bowls are great proportional size. Was happy with that. Um, this was a nice mitt, and you will need this. I wondered why they included this, but if you want to pick this handle up after you've been cooking, you've got to have this mitt, or your hands are no longer containing fingerprints. Alright, and then the last item uh, was kind of this base piece that you can use as a cutting board and it holds some sporks and it also doubles as a place to dry your plates as you flip it upside down. So if I was scaling on a 1 to 10 scale, I would say this is a 7 uh, because it was high quality. Everything worked. The snaps, like stuff you'd buy at Walmart, typically like I hate to name names, but say Ozark Trail, which they're actually making some decent stuff now. But you know the stuff I'm talking about. It's one or two dollars. This holds up a lot better. I used this spatula. It was good. That's after it got hot, and it actually was just fine. So if you're backpacking, this is too big. But um, if it's just going to go in your Overland kit, this is good for a couple days. Um, it's either a little too small or too big. It's a weird size. I wouldn't say I wouldn't buy it again I really like once you take this out this is a nice big pot and I like making chili when I'm camping or like some kind of veggie soup and this would be great for that um, but for making breakfast even for myself I couldn't fit the meat and eggs I would eat in there or I could but it'd just be kind of smaller portions so for me and my wife that's eh, a little small and uh, currently they don't make a bigger set than this um, so maybe you need to put like two sets together and then you're just getting too big. So um, I give it a seven as a thumbs up. The quality is there, but it's just a weird size. And I wish this was, I knew it wasn't, I knew this was stainless steel, but um, I, I kind of, the coating or there's just, there's no coating. So you're just, uh, I don't know if you need to use Pam or butter or what, but I wasn't that great with, um, that's successful other you watching this may say hey doofus uh, this is what you do and I'll listen to you <laughs> alrighty let's see if I can pack this up I am gonna cheat I'll use the map because I want to do this quickly okay that's all inside there then your plates go in skids Yeah, I like the utensils, the bowls were good, the plates were a little small. Um, we usually bring paper plates, but again, I was hoping to come up with a kit that say, maybe I was flying somewhere and riding with somebody, this would fit in a pack or like in a suitcase. It's just a little too big, but it doesn't give me the packing power I like. The reason I went with this is I love their quart size cup that I use to make coffee and it's also perfect for making like Uncle Ben's or um, you know grits or uh, oatmeal in the morning so uh, I think this is good for you know one person I don't know I'm not done beating that horse seven I would buy it again but that's just because I love buying camping gear and uh, I hoard it and I know when the perfect situation would be to bring this okay so this one I have at number four but don't let that fool you. There's a lot of things that I liked about it, besides the fact that it has made in China right there. Um, our least favorite part about it, 
was the unlocking system. Kind of difficult to deal with. And then uh, the drip tray is a little too small. The quality of the actual cutting section itself, really good after we cut steak, we cut cheese. It was kind of nice. We cut some cheese and some summer sausage. We had a nice, summer, a nice clean looking um, area besides just the top of a cooler or something like that. So um, you guys know you've done it. So what you have to do is you push that button in and then you pull it out and then it clicks one more time. And I saw multiple people trying to use it that weekend and they were all just like, click, and then Brad, and then I would tell them, you gotta push one more time, and then it comes out. Something, and then if you wanna take it completely out, you push one more time, but you can get everything out and not have to pull it completely out. So something that's kinda nice, like the spork fits in here, other items will fit in into there, and I did like that a lot. Another thing I liked is that there's a sharpener built in. That's really nice because uh, the steel these are made out of is something that uh, gets really sharp, but it loses its uh, finish pretty quickly. So it's nice to have that little sharpener. Um, the paring knife, I love the shape and the feel of this paring knife. Um, I was a little disappointed in how thin the it felt and had a kind of how it didn't feel very strong like the blade is really high quality but they just kind of coated it in this rubber and I wasn't thrilled with the handle on it um, but it worked well for just like uh, cutting cheese and uh, meat and things like that now on the other side I am in love with this knife this thing's awesome now it's a weird size I can't actually figure out a hundred percent why they went with this size um, but I really like it. The opposite is to be said about the handle. The handle's really beefy, really strong. This thing's full tang, uh, goes all the way down. This is a really strong knife, and uh, something I'm going to offer on BlackBearOffRoad.com is I'm going to start selling this knife individually, so you can just buy this knife. You don't have to buy this whole kit. FYI, though, if you were to buy this knife and this knife separately, it's more expensive than buying this kit. So if you think you might want this, it's better to buy it and then you get the sharpener and then uh, wow this sounds like a commercial uh, <laughs> but it's just an FYI because I know that I would just buy this so I could get it um, but this is a knife uh, if I had a sheath I'd almost bring this or just keep it in my Jeep because um, the blade thickness is ridiculous this thing's gonna hold up for 50 years if you don't melt the handle and if you do you can fashion one really quick with paracord this would be a great bushcraft knife. This thing could definitely split wood. It's tough. You could strike the back, the back of it easily. Um, we cut some steaks with it, and we cut a watermelon, and it was great. Uh, it I love the size of it. So this is my favorite part about it, the cutting surface. The sharpener was great. The paring knife, I would give the paring knife a 5 out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10 for that big, um, whatever you want to call it and uh, the big boy. And then I like, there's a sharpener and then a little compartment that I've actually was storing my spork in there. And I really like the actual surface. Didn't like the clicker. And if, again, if we were going out of 10, I'd give this an eight out of 10 and I'd buy this a bunch of times and I'd buy this as a gift for people because it's got this handle and it easily fits in your kit. And it makes, I was using um, this thing you can buy at Walmart that's just like a thin plastic piece as a cutting thing and it's flimsy. This is sturdy, and then my knives are already inside of it. This made my pack smaller, and that I appreciated. So, Gerber, way to go. Start making stuff in America. It'll make us a little happier. Okay, K-Bar's next. This thing is awesome, and I'd say this is middle of road awesomeness. I'd probably still give this an 8 out of 10, but uh, I ate a steak with it, and uh, it was great. It had the... Okay. So the cutting, uh, the cutting blade on this is great for cutting steak. Spork worked fine. I was able to eat a whole meal with it. It's a little small on the serving size here, a little small on the knife size here, but this thing isn't really designed for you to eat every single day, every meal. It's for camping, right? And the best part about this whole situation is this thing fits easily in any glove box. And I don't know how many times I've gone to fast food, and I go to fast food a lot, and they don't give you silverware, boom, you got this. It cleans easily. It's plastic, so it's not going to be 
you know, all nasty when you're done. You can just clean it up pretty easily. And, um, you know, you, you go to Popeye's or Bojangles and you get your dirty rice and you're in there trying to eat your pintos. Not work. You go to KFC and you don't have a spoon for those mashed potatoes. People look at you funny when you have a pocket knife out and you're eating off the side of it. I've done that. Anyways, having this in the car would be great. This would make a great gift because it's cheap. And um, I think I'm going to buy a bunch more of these and just throw them in random places. One in my book bag, a couple in this cutting area or this cutting board, a couple in my vehicles. And then I always have one. And then if I ever need a knife, I have it. I wouldn't bushcraft, use this as a bushcraft knife just because it's serrated. It really would make a great blade for really anything other than, you know, cutting a sandwich, uh, just cutting food that's kind of already processed. Uh, even filleting a fish would be not so much. But uh, quality is great. Uh, everyone's complaint is this is a little difficult to do. Um, I'm glad that it's difficult to do because if it wasn't, then it maybe you could slip open while you're using it. But, um, you know, for, uh, for folks that, you know, don't have as much strength, they may complain about that. But I'd still give this an 8 out of 10. I'd buy, not only would I buy this again, but I will buy more of these. Okay. The snow and Neely Axe. I'd give this thing a nine, just because I don't all I don't like giving perfect scores. Ten out of ten. If I had to complain about something, there was a big sticker right here that was impossible to get off. Um, that was my complaint. Snow and Neely. So listen up. This thing's made in the USA. It's got a hickory handle, and uh, I loved everything about it. One thing that it made me do is no longer like my hatchet as much. Now the hatchet's way more mobile and it fits in my pack. This would actually attach to my pack and make it a little bit heavier. But this thing, I will not be bringing the hatchet uh, on a car camping trip ever. Well, maybe I'll bring it just to have as a backup. But if I had to pick, I'd pick this one first. Because this one cooks cuts wood really, really well. Now, one thing it did fantastically is I needed smaller kindling. Stick this right in the kindling, take my hatchet, tink, 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 right on the back. Because this thing is sturdy, sturdier than most hatchets. I wouldn't fall a tree with it, or fell, as you would say. I wouldn't fell a tree with it, but um, I actually chopped into some heavy logs, picked them up using the handle, never got any movement out of the top of it. The blade's super sharp. It's a high quality. This compares to something like a Husky Varna, and it's half the price. So um, I would buy this again, and it's made in the U.S., which is nice. Um, I have sharpened, actually right out of the bat, I... Uh, used the whetstone and just sharpened up the blade a little bit and after using it on a couple camping trips I should probably do that again but the nice thing is it's good quality steel so I can sharpen it for years to come and it's still going to be nice this is a piece that um, it's just going to take a while before it wears out so I'll be able to use this for probably you know five to ten years depending on how much camping I get to do and actually I really like this little sheath that it came with um, that keeps things safe it's got brass snaps it's a good quality leather and I love the size of it. You can really shine here. The dog just came in at the wrong time. <laughs> but anyways, uh, and my wife's producing, so she's back there laughing at the dog. Uh, anyways, um, it really, you can choke up on it and work it just like a hatchet. And uh, go on, John. And uh, yeah, I love the size of this. It's going to replace my hatchet for car camping. Um, I'll go to this first before I grab that. And there's just something nice about the size of it. You feel like a real man in the woods when you're carrying this thing around. And your little hatchet's like ting, 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 ting. But you know, hatchets have a great purpose too. And they're, uh, they're good for other purposes. But for chopping wood and going camping, this thing is great. Uh, Snow and Neely calls it their our best axe ever. And uh, I agree. It's awesome. And I would buy it again. thought about buying it uh, one for birthday gifts for like my brother-in-law or my dad because hey a nice cool expensive axe that's something you don't get every day so um boom like that all right on to the little boker knife b-o-k-e-r um this thing isn't made in the u.s this one i believe was germany it's a german company but i'm not sure if that's where the knife was made anyways um that's all the way open. It's tiny, right? Cute little thing. You will not realize in your time of using this that this is a small knife. 
In fact, you'll get used to it. I've handed it to people and they've laughed, and then they, they hand it back and they're like, huh. The thing is, with a full-size knife, you're never actually, well, most cases, you're not using the full size of the blade. Uh, when I use the full length of the blade is like maybe when I'm skinning something and um, I usually don't want to skin something with my pocket knife. Uh, I usually want to have a backup of some sort. So, um, but it, this has been my everyday carry. You can see it's nice and dirty and uh, it's got a nice clip on the back. Um, I would uh, I would definitely give this uh, 9 out of 10. I give the axe a 9 out of 10 as well. I don't know if I said that. The only reason, yeah, the only reason I'm going to get this a 10 out of 10, the one thing I've had to do, not even had to sharpen it, I just needed, had to tighten those little torques on the back. And this thing was in my pocket for, you know, two and a half, three months, every single day, wearing back and forth on that. But I've had nicer knives, um, a little higher quality, some Kershaw's that been in my pocket for three or four years and never had to tighten anything. So that's my only downside to it. Uh, other little downside is you almost don't all know what's in your pocket, which is why I bought it. Uh, every single day I'm carrying a knife. I don't want something real heavy. This is light. You don't know what's in your pocket. The size of it, if your phone's in your pocket, it, it doesn't take up, you know, a half of your pocket. So it's nice. The handhelds, you they've indented right here. It's fantastic because when you're actually using the knife, you're going to put your fingers on those handholds. You're going to push on the back and you're able to do everything. And it looks like, oh, there's a little blade. It's it's great. Um, that little blade is stronger than most you know larger blades. And one thing I haven't had to do at all is sharpen it. I don't know if you can you be able to pick that up, but there's hardly there's literally no nicks in it. Uh, one tiny one at the top, and it's almost as sharp as when I first got it. I'll probably just do a quick sharpening on it, maybe just on a piece of leather um, here in a few weeks. But uh, it's really held its uh, um, blade really well. And I've used it on cardboard. I've used it on um, twine. I've used it on rope. I've used it on all sorts of things that should dull it. Wood. Um, all sorts of things I've used this on. And uh, it's been great. The only thing that it lacks is intimidation factor. And, um, you know, I'm headed to South Dakota here in a few weeks. And uh, if a bear came out this probably wouldn't be the knife I want to fight a bear with. I don't want to fight a bear with a knife, but if I had to, it'd probably be that I like that Gerber. that give me the odds. If you give me this this axe here and that knife, I'm going to go. But I can't say enough good things about how well this feels in the pocket. It's super light, and I'm going to continue to every day carry this um, versus the Kershaw I was carrying every day. I'm just going to put it in the drawer. Um, the only thing I would buy instead of this to carry every day is I just like something more nostalgic, you know, like a case or something wooden. And that's not because it's higher quality, just because, you know, when I go to church or a nice event, I'm not probably going to use that knife, and I like to have it anyways in my pocket. It looks cool. But for every day, this thing, you can't beat it for the price. It's just a little workhorse, and I would buy this a million more times. I'd give it as a gift. I actually have a friend who bought one recently, and he's using it as well. Um, he does landscaping on the side and uh, when you're doing like pine straw you have to cut the, the rope off of it it's nice it, I really enjoyed it and it's my favorite thing of the overlanding kit that I put together um, it really is tough and you can drop it and do whatever and look it's a tiny package kind of nice anyways um, so giving you some info here I decided since you folks sat and waited um, so patiently to listen to my review I really liked all these items, and I really would suggest anyone to buy them. Um, you know how I kind of feel and ranked everything. But one thing I was thinking as I was putting this kit here and thinking about making the video, I was like, this is a nice overland kit for beginners or uh, you know novice or veterans alike. It does not matter. It's kind of the essential things you need if you think about car camping, right? You got to have a cooler at least something to keep your your food and water um you know cold that's for overlanding not this isn't survival bushcraft whatever this is like car camping 101 get yourself a cooler get a grill of some sort something to cook things with you need some kind of fire making device then after that you need a couple good knives a good place to fix your food a good place to cook your food and a way to process firewood 
And I was just thinking, man, this is a nice set. It would have two knives uh, and the cutting board. You get a K-Board knife. You get your pocket knife that you're going to use all around the campsite. Boom, Snow and Neely, best axe ever. And then you got the base camp. And that has got, um, you know, your utensils for cooking. It's got sporks. It's got bowls. It's got plates. Um, it's got a drying rack. All kind of stuff. All right. I'm going to get through this infomercial <laughs> really quickly. Um, so something I wanted to do. I wanted to do an honest review. So you got my honest review. I told you what I liked and didn't like about these items. And if you have questions, feel free to leave them below. But something I want to do for my viewers is um, I added it up. And literally all these items together retail on my website would be $250.20. So something I would like to do is um, right now I've got a couple coupon codes out like for free shipping. And that $250 would not include shipping. So if you were going to ship all this stuff, you'd be like $275. So what I'd like to do is I'll offer everything that you see on the table for $200 with free shipping. So you'd save 50 bucks plus the shipping. So you're at like $75 in savings. So basically like you get the ax for free, which is kind of cool. Um, so I don't know if you're interested in that. There's a uh, going to be a, a link below that'll have that promo code. Um, let's call it uh, Overland. We'll do code Overland. Spell it just like it sounds. O-V-E-R. L A N D uh, Overland. So if you use promo code Overland, then boom, you can get all these items for 200 bucks that were typically 250 plus you get free shipping. That's on me. And I can usually get all these items out in about, depending on where you're at in the US, about three to five days. So if you check out blackberryoffroad.com, I'll put this on the uh, right on the front page for about a month now. We're in uh, September. So for the month of September, I'll leave this in the new item section. And then you can still use the code whenever you'd like if you're watching this video at a later time. It's just going to be in our uh, campsite section. So I have a section called campsite. I'll put this in as kind of like the ultimate overland kit. Now, I know you could probably add some stuff. Like, it'd be kind of cool to have a grizzly cup, um, maybe like a little butane burner. Maybe we'll do a bigger kit at some point. But this is kind of like your essentials. Get out there. Boom. And it's kind of got some different items besides like things you already have. Like coolers and cups most people have those items but everyone's always kind of searching for a good axe or a good pocket knife you know and then you think about this is a great kind of cooking setup so um anyways another thing i'd like to say if you just say i did brad i just want to get the k-bar i just want to get the pocket knife um all you gotta do is you can go to our facebook page or our instagram page so on Facebook, we're just Black Bear Off-Road, and the off is, off-road is off-road. Not everyone spells it that way, but hey, that's the way Google prefers it, or Microsoft, that's how they word it. Anyways, long story short, just message us on social media, and I'll send you a promo code for 10% off. You won't get free shipping, but you can get all these items at 10% off. Um, so if you just wanted to buy this knife, or maybe you just wanted to buy um, the knife that's inside of there, I'll uh, I have a I have a promo code for Overland Gear, so if you were looking for Overland Gear specifically, because you watch the channel, I can give you ten percent off. So just message me, or comment below if you don't know how to get to our social, or I can get you our email address as well. Um, it's info at blackbearoffroad.com. So um, yeah, just shoot us an email at info at blackbearoffroad.com. I can shoot you with that promo code. If you're interested in using it on any of these items or anything in our campsite section. All right. I know that might be boring for some, but if you're a nerd like likes camping gear and getting this all organized like me, um, maybe you can use some of this information. I hope it was helpful. Um, I would like to do some more in the future. So if you have any suggestions or things you'd like me to try out that are maybe on my website or maybe that aren't on the website that you want to see me use or um, you know possibly review, I'm all game for it. This was my Overland gear review. It's the first one we've done, and we'll be doing more in the future. We'll see how it works, but I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, we'll be seeing you.